Hello, my lovelies. How are we? I hope everybody is well. So, I'm... This is Hooked by Mama C. For anyone that's new, I'm Mama C. Welcome, welcome. Um, thank you for watching. For all my lovely subscribers, thank you very much for staying with me. Um, I'm sitting here crocheting after couple of very tough days so I'm just taking have been taking time out so I have a few projects on the go they're lined up there behind me <laughs> beside me and um I want somebody had asked me how to how how would you work with um these boys there's these are Stanley cakes I have a video further back on a little haul that I got from Stanley so these are the tweed it's called uh, Muffin Tweed and um, there's 550 grams, which is about 1160 meters. I beg your pardon. Sorry, excuse me. And it's 75% acrylic, 10% merino and 5%, 15%, sorry, silk. Now they don't feel very soft as you're working with them. Um, and this is what I've got so far. I'm working on a specific pattern that has a built-in border um, and it's kind of a it's going kind of gray to pink ombre effect and there's all little beautiful flecks of color I don't know if you can see them in that there's tiny little flecks of color through it all um, so I'm working on on uh, a blanket or a throw whichever you want it but i said i'd pop on because some people are afraid of these large the cakes that have four four oh sorry i'll, I'll start again these are stanley cakes and they have four th separate threads as you can see here mm, i don't want to pull that out one second now they have four separate threads, if you can see them. They're not um, wound or bound. They're not wound. They're separate. Now, these are the tweed, so they're a bit thicker. The ordinary Stanley cakes are much thinner, very, very thin. Um, and people are afraid of them. Now, I, I wouldn't blame you. Like, I, 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 you know, you'd be kind of, if you haven't used them before, yes, you can be very anxious with them. But I found, especially with the tweed, they're easier if you start with it, one of the tweed ones. If you want to try them, start with one of the tweed because the, the four threads are thicker and it comes up to about a DK with the, with the four threads. Maybe a bit thicker than the, than a DK. Um, whereas the other one would be, I'd say, cheaper, two, maybe a two two and a half to three depending on with the ordinary stanley cakes stanley muffin sorry these are the ordinary stanley muffins hang on let me grab one they're the ordinary stanley muffins and they have their threads are very 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 fine and um starting off with one of them might frighten you <laughs> um but with the with the if you want to try them try the tweed first so you kind of get used to the four threads and um so what i do and a lot of people do with 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 things with that have a couple of a few threads that haven't been wound together or bound i don't know which way you call it you know what i'm talking about they're not bound i suppose um they're separate threads so with the four so i use a bead i can't find the bloody thing for some reason i'm, I'm not, i don't know what i must have missed it um anyway I, I use a small little bead just a small bead before i start the subject the project normally i'd put, um, thread the bead with with my i'm not a bit prepared so i'm not <laughs> with my yarn needle i love these ones with the little loop i got them on on um you can get them on Hobby, Hobby. You can get them on Prime, uh, Amazon. 
um, and I'm sure you can get them on Timu as well. Um, I got these on Hobie. I got them with my points. You you collect points with Hobie, with the Hobie, the yarn you buy. And you buy you collect points and you can buy things. You can buy things with your points. So I bought a set of three of them. So I I thread. I thread the four threads. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. I put the four. Yeah, I thread the four threads onto this. I'm not a bit cam today so yeah, I thread the four threads through that through the loop the eye of the loop if you can see that there and then I thread it through the bead so the bead has a nice little hole it's not a massive hole it's not a tiny hole and I thread it through that so I keep that keeps the four threads straight as you're crocheting and it keeps or even knitting if anybody's a knitter it keeps them straight now the only thing I will say above all is like what i love about the, the 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 muffins is that they have a pull start a center pull start on on each of them with the word start on it yeah it's there they have one so you pull it and then off you, you thread it through your needle and then through your bead so the bead stays on the whole time and you just gradually it moves if it's like just have it a little bigger than the thread and it moves gradually as you're crocheting now at the odd time one get one string might get one one of the one of the threads might get um pulled up a bit so all you have to do is straighten it out the only thing i will say to you about them is have patience like i have i've had to stop there for a second because a, a, a lovely lump of yarn came out a little bit of yarn barf came out so i just separated it took my time and separated it now that's that's the only thing have patience and separated it and off i go again that that's the only thing but they do come out beautiful and they are lovely and they do last um and they do wash up really really nicely i can't wait to get this finished and wash it and see what it feels like because this is my first time using the tweed i have used them often before but I would, I will say any of the muffins, this is a tweed muffin, they're ordinary muffins. I'd say you have to be patient, take your time. Don't put yourself under strain. And even if you have to put it down and come back to it, do that. Don't be putting yourself under pressure. Um, and just take your time. Now, the thing about this one um, is it's it starts off with the, with the grey... And gradually goes into the pink lilac um i i color what do they call it i i ha okay so i did the, the border the beginning of the border with the gray and then i stopped and i cut the threads and started with the pink because i wanted some of the same color for the top of the blanket um i know there's a word for that at the moment my brain fog is terrible it's just it's it's unreal i i i'll be honest witchy um like i i have brain fog because of menopause which is you know part of life and i have brain fog because of my rheumatoid arthritis that's another cause of brain fog and on top of that i have grief which is brings brain fog especially when you're not sleeping and you're not resting so I that's why I kind of stopped I and decided I was taking time out but like I, I'll do I will keep making my videos but I, I I I really need people to understand that even I'm falling over my words and and sometimes I can't get things out properly and it's not it's not because I'm it's because of the grief it's because of the brain fog um, and I like doing my videos so when I can and I feel I'm able I will I'll do them um, so I, I for anyone that's new that doesn't know me and doesn't know the story that's happened in the last while I'm not going to go over it I'm just um, it's this isn't when I yeah sometimes I get tongue-tied but at the moment I'm kind of I'm not 100% and I can't give you 100% which I feel guilty about I want to be able to give give you a hundred percent and um i haven't been able to but so say a prayer i i'd appreciate that um a prayer for myself and my family 
you know, that we can get through the next steps, the next days, the next weeks. Sean's birthday is next week. So that's going to be a tough week for all of us. Anyway, I, I know I'm talk I talk about him a lot in my videos with the last word, but I can't help it. It it is what it is and this is real life. You know, this isn't this isn't movie life, this is real life. I lost my child, my beautiful son, and his birthday is next week. And he's three months gone. So I'm trying to do the best I can do. So I appreciate the support from my uh, regular loyal followers that have been with me for since the beginning, I suppose. And um, I really appreciate my new my new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching everybody. So I hope I get off that subject. I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, then ask. Um, Put it put put it in the comments below, and I I will I I I answer all my comments. I do the I do, um. So there, that's the Stinley muffin tweed cakes, and I get them from Pleta P L E T A. I think it's P L E A T A, Pleta Yarn Company. They're in Bulgaria, and um, so they sometimes have have good deals. On their cakes and their yarns and things like that. So if if that if you want to get some, but these this one is called the muffin tweed and they've lovely colours. They they only have about eight or nine colours in that um in the tweed, but they have loads in the ordinary muffin. Um, and they're I can't remember the price. Then let's be honest, but they're well worth it. I think they're like something like twelve twelve euros. 13 euros something like that so when i'm when this is finished i'll come back to you and, sh and show you what it looks like and and let you know how it washes and how it feels after it doesn't feel as soft as i'd like it to be even with the silk in it um and the uh the uh merino um but hopefully when it's washed it will it'll come up a bit better yeah so i hope everyone is well i'm sending out blessings to all um have a fabulous day um and look after yourself believe in yourselves have faith in yourselves thank you so much for watching blessings to everyone